Veroff racing for the Kipco 1000 guineas. Tahira not the best of them into stride. Matilda Peacott is one of the first runners to show. Queen Me is in a prominent position as well. Sweet Harmony and Morge are leading the group towards the stand side. Naomi Lapalia is up in a prominent position also as they begin to settle down. Two groups, but a yellow cap of Matilda Peacott is the clear leader. The group on the left. On the right is Sweet Harmony. Morge in all Royal Blue is not far behind her. Mama's girl and uh, with her is Olivia Moraldra, prominent position. And then uh, the yellow of Stenton Glide are not far behind the leaders as they begin their journey now, already down to halfway, with Matilda Peacott having the advantage to Naomi Lapalia and Queen Me. Lazoo's on that far side with Polly Pot there as well, and Queen Me on the extreme right. Sweet Harmony and Morge leaving there to Mama's girl. Tahira, she'd be about. Uh, eighth now making her run. Remarco's behind her. And then Colm's dream of love as they head then down past the bushes now. Tahira in the green chasing Morge with the Mama's Girl towards the right in a contention as well. Lazoo's not far behind on the far side of the course. And still Matilda Peacock with a little bit of a chance as well. Heading down into the dip now in blue Morge. In green Tahira. This pair are clear in the Kipco 1000 Guinness. Behind them in third place is Matilda Peacock and it's Morge in the blue colours fighting on strongly to hear the green jacket but it's Morge just in front of the hero they're well clear from in third position Matilda Peacock and they're followed in by Carnarvon the Kipco 1000 guineas has been won by Morge trained by Syed Bin Sur very well done she's not the biggest but she was all heart yeah she's a big heart I mean you saw her last year She's a group two winner here in England, and we take her to Dubai. She's unbeaten in two races, even seven and a mile, but she come back here to win the Guinness. That's a great result. Uh, is it true that you've just brought her back recently from Dubai? Yeah, she, she, we give her a break after yeah. when she won a mile race. That's uh, the Jamira Guinness. Yeah. Then uh, there is no races for her in like a World Cup meeting. Then um, it could be only there is a race for her, yeah, yeah, Darby, that's in the dear tonight for longs. Then uh, we talked to Sheikh Mohammed, uh, we talked around him at the Guinness, we brought her straight to here, and luckily she won. So she's just landed back in the country recently? Yeah, it's two weeks ago. Two weeks ago? Yeah. Wow. Um, she was clearly very tough. The, the runner up, we knew it, she brought a high level of form to the table. You're miles clear of the rest. She's clearly very talented. She's tough, really. As a mile, you know, she's uh, a nice filly over this trip. As we, if you look at her size and her body, she shows yeah. show speed. But uh, as a my sister, we're happy with that. So by exceeding Excel, will you Irish uh, 1000 seem the obvious option? This is option from options. Mm. Oh, yeah, could be. And for you personally, obviously, to, to be back here with a, another classic. It's great to see a moment to come and to win the Guinness is a good result for us. Fantastic result, very well done. Thank you, sir. Thank you. It's the first ever Kipco 1000 Guinness for Ocean uh, Murphy. How's that sound? Uh, incredible. Eh? I thought I had a really good chance uh, when I was booked for her and then I wasn't sure with the rain uh, how would she cope on this ground but the word from Sai Bin Sarur and his uh, team was that she was in incredible shape and uh, it was brilliant to be part of it. She was really tough. The second we knew she got a high level of form, you're miles, miles clear of the third. Yeah, two top class fillies. Uh, it's lovely to see a classic like that as well when they pull clear and uh, show their class. Uh, she travelled so well through the race. Uh, she never pulled, even to post she was asleep. And um, I got out well and I had loads of options and I just got into a rhythm basically in a straight line, Niall, very uncomplicated. Uh, and she travelled into the dip and then it was just about uh, you know, keeping her going. Mm. Um, a couple of days ago you were saying you, you couldn't ride winners here. Yeah, but it was true. You know, I had uh, four full race days uh, with no winner here and lots of chances. And then Timesius Fox won yesterday, running line one earlier. Mm. But this is a different level. Different level. To, um, and obviously what, what's happened coming back from your ban to Neil a classic so early in the season. Yeah, beyond my wildest mm. dreams. I had a really good start back, but thanks to lots of different mm. trainers supporting me, particularly Andrew Balding, uh, George, you know, loads of people. But George Bowie, remember, he, he put me on Miss the Cut on a big day in Saudi. And, um, yeah, just to get back in, in the big races with a crowd here, uh, it's, it's a great feeling.
hugging your mum on the way in, number one supporters here. Yeah, my dad's in England as well, uh, but he didn't come today. It's fantastic for them as well, uh, memories, you know, making memories, uh, and they'll be thrilled. Um, she's by exceeding excel, so even the ground would have been a worry going forward. We saw her at May Maidan. She's just going to be a, a top-class miler. Is that what you see her as? Yeah, I think so. I think she just has lots of class. And, um, and a miler trip. Yeah, that was a true test today on yeah. holding ground, and I hit the line as well as Tahira, yeah. you know. Um, so I'd be very hopeful that she can be, you know, dominant at a mile, and hopefully she stays in one piece because uh, that was a great performance. It was a great performance by by horse and rider. Very well done. Thanks, Niall. Thank you. Subscribe to Racing TV's YouTube channel now to watch more great races like this.